So once we start looking at, at the symmetries of solutions of algebraic equations, um, the question is whether um, the structure of that group of symmetries changes and how it changes as the degree of the equation becomes larger. Um, so in school we learn uh, a formula for solutions of, of the quadratic equations. It involves the square root. That formula actually was um, written already in the year 830 uh, by Al Karizmi, uh, the great mathematician of the era, in a book which was uh, in the title had the word algebra, which is what gave um, the name to the subject of algebra. So that's the solution for the quadratic equation. What about cubic equations? The equation of degree 3, which starts with x, x cubed plus some, something times x squared and so on. Well, there is a formula for that as well, which involves the cubic root. What about degree 4? Again, mathematicians were able to find um, you know, a formula which involves the f fourth root. And, but that search was on also for the fifth degree equation, and they couldn't find it. So for hundreds of years, mathematicians were trying to find such a formula and were unable to do that. And Galois had this crucial insight that was, he was able to show that actually there is no such formula. The reason you couldn't find this formula, they said, is that there is no such formula. You cannot write a solution of an equation of degree 5, or higher for that matter, by using only radicals. Radicals meaning square root, cubic root, f uh, root of force, power, and so on. And the, d the reason for that is that the structure of the Galois group of an equation of degree 5 and higher becomes so complicated that you simply cannot use these radicals, these roots, to describe the solutions. That's the main idea.